when it comes to the media, as you well know, they've all rolled over to the government, with the exception of talk radio. And in talk radio, it's only the conservative end of the dial that stands between absolute silence of the people and a total dictatorship of the politicians. The person leading the charge to destroy freedom of speech is none other than the perfect face for this pork barrel bill, and that's Debbie Stabenow of Michigan. In other words, if you were to paint a face on the pork barrel stimulus bill, if you were looking for the perfect embodiment of it, it would be Debbie Stabenow, both physically and mentally. She matches the pork barrel bill perfectly. Now, of course, I'm angry at her because she's a dictator in her heart. She'd like to turn off talk radio, and I'm angry at her. But there's another reason. And the other reason is is that the Fairness Doctrine senator's husband was involved in a hooker scandal, and the girl he used in the motel room went to jail, but Michigan Senator Stabenow's husband escaped any charges whatsoever in exchange for his assistance in the case, according to the police in Troy, Michigan. So, in other words, the hooker went to jail, Stabenow's husband avoided jail, and now this face of the pork barrel bill herself wants hearings on radio accountability. The fact of the matter is, there's more to this than meets the eye. This is something you're not going to read about anywhere else, but it's up on michaelsavage.com. Do you know who her husband is? Do you know why the embodiment of the pork barrel bill, Debbie Stabenow, wants a fairness doctrine? Do you know why this beast from Michigan wants conservatives turned off the air? Do you know why the beast wants it done? Michigan Senator Debbie Stabenow's husband, who was involved in a hooker scandal, has a name. His name is Thomas Athens. He is the co-founder of the Liberal Talk USA radio network. Did you know that? Did you know that this man arrested in the hooker scandal, her husband, started Talk Radio USA in in 06 after leading program at the failed Air America, the liberal network that declared bankruptcy that year? Are you aware that this senator, this beast, this pig has a husband who is running a competitive business with conservative talk radio? As far as I'm concerned, she should be thrown into prison. As far as I'm concerned, this woman should be stripped of her Senate seat for simply trying to destroy a competitive business. I hope you understand what I just said to you. The woman who wants conservative talk radio shut down through the so-called fairness doctrine or like bill has a husband who created programming for Air America, which failed. He then co-founded the Talk USA radio network, which is floundering because nobody wants to listen to that rubbish. We get it every day from Obama and his minions. We don't need to hear it from the radio. So the fact of the matter is this is an attempt to shut down a competitive business. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't think you understand the danger we are in when beasts like this can get up there uh, and, and get away with virtual verbal murder. I've, I hope I've offended millions of people just now. I hope I've made you uncomfortable. I hope we've, I've made you squirm. 